Hey guys, this is the all-new 2015 Mercedes C300 sedan in steel gray. This specific model comes with a sport package, meaning it is equipped with the aggressively designed body styling, low body work, sport suspension, sport front brake, sport seat, and many more. The most noticeable feature of the 2015 C-Class sedan here you may notice is its big step forward with an all-new exterior design that is much sleeker, sportier, and much more spacious on the inside. The exterior is made extensively of aluminum. This makes the body lighter and at the same time much stronger. Some very cool safety features come with the 2015 C300 sedan, such as the collision prevention assist that uses radar technology to alert the driver whenever there's a vehicle ahead of us or if there are any stationary objects ahead that will cause a collision. In these cases, the system will automatically apply brake to avoid accidents and decrease accident severity. Some other optional safety features include the active blind spot assist, rear view camera, and pre-safe brake with pedestrian recognition. Here's the remote to the car. On the remote, there's the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. And on the end, there's a switch for us to release the manual key. Let's go ahead and unlock the car and take a closer look at the interior. The 2015 C300 does come with smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the keys in your purse or pocket, and to unlock the car, put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch right there. Quick with the interior. Interior is all leather. Look very nice and luxurious. Back seat. To start the engine, all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right here. To open the hood, there's going to be a metal lever located on the left side under here. Simply lift it up and raise the hood. Under the hood, the 2015 C300 has a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo engine with direct injection that pushes out 241 horsepower and 273 pound foot of torque. It is a 7 speed automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode. The C300 can get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.5 seconds. This is all possible thanks to the Formatic Permanent All-Wheel Drive System. As for fuel economy, the C300 gets 24 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 27 miles per gallon. To further enhance the gas mileage, the C300 is also equipped with the Eco Start Stop feature. With the Eco Start Stop function on, the C300 engine will automatically shut off at red light or when stuck in traffic. And as soon as the driver let go of the brake, the engine will instantly restart to safe on gas. Up front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wiper and the front shadow line exterior trim. Moving down, we have the most noticeably iconic Mercedes store, surrounded by the sporty grill and aerodynamic bumper kit. To help with visibility, there's the LED daytime running lights and the automatic LED headlights with twilight sensors and locator lightings. Moving over to the side, there's the side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal, auto dimming function, power folder control, and lastly it is equipped with the built-in blind spot assist system to notify the driver if there's a car in a blind spot when changing lanes. With the sport package, this specific model comes with 18 inch AMG 5 spokes alloy wheels with all season tires. Behind the wheels we have 4 ventilated anti-lock disc brake with adaptive brake technology, electronic stability control, and brake assist systems. All 4 wheels are equipped with tire pressure monitoring system. The rear wheels and tires are wider than the front for better acceleration and grip without sacrificing steering response. 
To help in defining a strong rear shoulder, the rear is equipped with an eye-catching fiber optic LED tail lamps and LED brake light. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a very nice safety feature to help the driver in backing out and parking. At the bottom, there's the eye-catching black rear diffuser with a two chrome exhaust tip. And lastly, to distinguish this from other models, there's the C300 batch located on the left hand side. Rear bumper fender. As for the gas tank, just making sure the car is unlocked. Push in to open. And push back to close. Now for a quick view of the panoramic moonroof. It's currently in the tilt function. And here it is with it fully being open. Looks very nice and sporty as you can see. I'll go ahead and walk all the way around and give you a full view. And we're back on the inside. With the sport package, we have the all leather steering wheel with a flat bottom. Looks very nice and feel comfortable. To the left side here, we have the different control in which you can use to control everything that's going to be displayed on the odometer here. Such as the navigation, radio, media, telephone. Mercedes logo in the middle with the horn. Here we have the voice command with the Bluetooth phone answering option, volume up, down, and the mute button in the middle. Behind the steering wheel, we have the shift paddle, one on the right and one on the left for standard manual mode. And here's the gear shift box. To use this, you have to push your foot out on the brake first. Light up to put the car into neutral. Heavy up to put the car into reverse. Light down back to neutral. And heavy down to put the car into drive. And press the button on the end to put the car into park. And as I mentioned earlier, when you put the car into reverse, the rear view camera automatically display on the uh, GPS screen here with guided lines, which is again a very nice safety feature. Moving over to this side of the steering wheel, we have the right and left turn signal, up for right and down for left. Pull it towards us for the high beam. And on the end, simply twist this to control the windshield wiper control. And push the button on the end to release the windshield washer. Down here we have two knobs. This is the cruise control, and the smaller knob is used to control the steering wheel placement. You can move the steering wheel up, down, away from you, or towards you. AC and heat vent, headlamps control in the middle, fog light control on the left, and odometer dimmer control on the right. And below, we have the parking brake control. Driver's sun visor with a small credit card holder. Light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. GPS and audio display. Three additional AC and heat vent in the middle. Dual AC heat climate control. And with the multimedia package you have the uh, two-in-one CD and DVD player and a lock clock in the middle there moving further down we have two cup holder inside we have a 12 volt outlet torture removable ashtray right here very easy just lift it up you can also remove the uh, cup holder for easy washing 
and here we have the universal controller in which you can use to control everything that's going to be displayed on the GPS and audio screen you can move this knob over to the right left up down or press down to select you can also zoom in and out by twisting it over to the right or left alternatively you can use this pad on top it is touch sensitive as you can see as I'm moving my finger around which is a very nice and cool feature you can simply press down to select there's also a different return menu at the bottom here's the audio volume control you can turn the audio on and off by pressing down on the volume control the on and off control of the uh, GPS display one press to turn off and one press to turn on here's the equal start and stop system green light means it's on when it is on, engine again will automatically shut off when you come to a stoplight and will automatically restart when you let go of the brake. Over here, we have the different driving mode control. You can move it up or down. And as you can see right here, moving up, you have the Sport Plus. When in the Sport Plus, you get a lot more power with a slight decrease in gas mileage. When moving down to Comfort and Equal, you get more gas mileage with a slight decrease in power. wood trim looks very nice now let's take a closer look at the middle armrest compartment let's see what we have here we have a USB plug for the iPhone 5 inside we have two USB input along with a SD card holder glove box compartment it doesn't move all the way down as you can see inside there's the uh, trunk lock switch if you move that switch over to the lock button you'll not be able to open the trunk from the inside here's a full view of the dash dash is all leather moving up Here's the rear view mirror. Rear view mirror have built in universal garage door opener. You can simply input your garage door codes and use these three buttons to open and close your garage doors. Here we have the different light control. And in between, we have the sunroof control right in the middle. The red SOS button is for roadside assistant. Press that and you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistant. Glass holder. Now let's open the sunroof and show it to you. Extends all the way back. Very nice panoramic sunroof. Now for a closer look at the driver's side door. Here we have up to three easy storage memory for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Front seat also have lumbar support. And on top, as you can see right here, it is also ventilated, which can be controlled with heat. Speakers. Wood trim looks very nice. Lock and unlock button. Four power window control. At the bottom, we have the window lock button. On top, we have the side view mirror control. This button is used to control the folding and unfolding of the side view mirror. Press once to fold and press again to unfold. Side door storage compartment. Trunk release button right here. Simply lift it up for 2-3 seconds and the trunk will release. Mercedes-Benz door seal, which can be found on both the driver and passenger side metal brake and gas pedal parking brake again red lever is used to open the hood simply pull this down and that will initially open the hood and open the hood as I showed you earlier you can also bolt out the back of the driver's seat here 
again seat is ventilated with white stitching throughout looks very nice seat belt is very smooth and quiet you can also adjust this by moving it up or down now the smart keyless access works the same way for all four doors put your hand behind the handle to unlock and touch there to lock here's a quick view of the back seat speakers power and window control side door compartment again I'm five foot seven so this gives you a better idea of how much leg space I have front view I'm sitting in the back two more AC and heat vent you can lock and open the uh, vent by twisting this knob another 12 volt torture and an ashtray and as you can see in the middle it's being split up back seat looks very sporty there's also hooks on both the right and left seat to securely hook down baby seat again another safety feature more storage compartment two additional cup holder hand bore with a spot for you to hang your clothes same thing over here now let's pop the trunk and see what we have inside to open the trunk just press this right here and this is where your rear view camera will bulge out when you put the car into reverse trunk looks very roomy and spacious as you can see we have hooks on both the left and the right side another one on top here another one on this side also and if we lift this up we have more storage compartment under here you can further uh, fold down both the uh, back seat by lifting this out and if you ever get yourself locked in the trunk you can simply press this button on top to release yourself Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me a comment and feedback as to what you think about this car. For more future car reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our Facebook page for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review. There's the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. And on the end, there's a switch for us to release the manual key. Let's go ahead and unlock the car and take a closer look at the interior. The 2015 C300 does come with smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the keys in your purse or pocket, and to unlock the car, put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch right there. Quick move the interior, interior is all leather look very nice and luxurious back seat to start the engine all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right here
Hey guys, this is the all new 2015 Mercedes C300 sedan in steel gray. This specific model comes with a sport package, meaning it is equipped with the aggressively designed body styling, low body work, sport suspension, sport front brake, sport seat, and many more. The most noticeable feature of the 2015 C-Class sedan here you may notice is its big step forward with an all new exterior design that is much sleeker, sportier, and much more spacious on the inside. The exterior is made extensively of aluminum. This makes the body lighter and at the same time much stronger. Some very cool safety features come with the 2015 C300 sedan, such as the Collision Prevention Assist that uses radar technology to alert the driver whenever there's a vehicle ahead of us or if there are any stationary objects ahead that will cause a collision. In these cases, the system will automatically apply a brake to avoid accidents and decrease accident severity. Some other optional safety features include the Active Blind Spot Assist, Rear View Camera, and Pre-Safe Brake with Pedestrian Recognition. Here's the remote to the car on the remote. Moving down, we have the most noticeably iconic Mercedes store surrounded by the sporty grille and aerodynamic bumper kit. To help with visibility, there's the LED daytime running lights and the automatic LED headlights with twilight sensors and locator lightings. Moving over to the side, there's the side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal, auto dimming function, power folding control and lastly it is equipped with the built-in blind spot assist system to notify the driver if there's a car in our blind spot when changing lanes. With the sport package, this specific model comes with 18 inch AMG 5 spokes alloy wheels with all season tires. Behind the wheels we have 4 ventilated anti-lock disc brake with adaptive brake technology, electronic stability control and brake assist systems. All 4 wheels are equipped with tire pressure monitoring system. The rear wheels and tires are wider than the front for better acceleration and grip without sacrificing steering response. To help in defining a strong rear shoulder, the rear is equipped with an eye-catching fiber optic LED tail lamps and LED brake light. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a very nice safety feature to help the driver in backing out and parking. At the bottom, there's the eye-catching black rear diffuser with a two chrome exhaust tip. And lastly, to distinguish this from other models, there's the C300 batch located on the left hand side. Rear bumper fender. As for the gas tank, just making sure the car is unlocked. Push in to open and push back to close. Now for a quick view of the panoramic moonroof. It's currently in the tilt function. And here it is with it fully being open. Looks very nice and sporty as you can see. I'll go ahead and walk all the way around and give you a full view. And we're back on the inside. To open the hood, there's going to be a metal lever located on the left side under here. Simply lift it up and raise the hood. Under the hood, the 2015 C300 has a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo engine with direct injection that pushes out 241 horsepower and 273 pound foot of torque. It is a 7 speed automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode. The C300 can get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.5 seconds. This is all possible thanks to the Formatic permanent all wheel drive system. As for fuel economy, the C300 gets 24 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 27 miles per gallon. To further enhance the gas mileage, the C300 is also equipped with the Eco Start Stop feature. With the Eco Start Stop function on, the C300 engine will automatically shut off at red light or when stuck in traffic, and as soon as the driver let go of the brake, the engine will instantly restart to safe on gas.
up front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wiper and the front shadow line exterior trim.